वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द फिजिक्स विजन क्लासेस द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल एंड एज यू कैन सी इट इज द गामा फंक्शन बेसिकली इट्स अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन द गामा फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड इन दिस वे टेक केयर ऑफ योर लिमिट्स द लिमिट लोअर लिमिट इज जीरो इन केस ऑफ गामा फंक्शन इट इज नॉट माइनस इन्फिनिटी इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन मिस्टेक विच मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डू Okay, so gamma function is e raised to the power minus of a x into x raised to the power n minus one d x is equal to gamma n divided by this constant power n. Okay, this is our gamma function. So by comparing this, we got n minus one is equal to three by two. That means n is equal to five by two. And a is equal to four. By substituting these values, we get our integral given by gamma phi by two divided by a, which is four power phi by two. Okay, gamma phi by two is three by two gamma three by two, which can be further written as three by two into 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 and gamma 1 by 2 is under root pi. In the denominator we have under root of 4 is 2, which gives you 2 raised to the power 5, that is upon 32. Notice that we have make use of one formula which is gamma n is equal to n n minus 1. Sorry, this is not uh, that way. N minus 1. Gamma n minus one will make we have made use of one formula which is n minus one gamma n minus one and another formula is gamma half is equal to under root pi. Now when you will calculate this factor, you will get three under root pi by one twenty eight as your correct answer because thirty two into four is one twenty eight and three uh, under